John Beltran back at Sunset Baseball Field and Brush. Here's the starting lineup as the wind continues to blow <laughs> pretty fiercely for Platte Valley. Batting first is the right fielder, Kyle Gardner. The second baseman, Carlos Avila, hits second. Chase Maxey, the pitcher, hits third. Clint Gehring is the catcher. He'll bat in the cleanup position. Batting fifth is the shortstop, Josh Martinez. Jake Nybauer, the third baseman, hits sixth. Brandon Gehring at first base hits seventh. Tim Haar, the left fielder, hits eighth. And Jordan Dunn, the center fielder, hits ninth. For the beat diggers, C.J. Kukas at first base. Gregory Mares at second. Over at third is Derek Lynch. In between them at short is Colby Waylard. Then around the outfield for the beat diggers. In left is Christian Vias. Bruce Melendez at center. Dylan Acosta in right. Behind the plate is Eric Garcia. And Brent Hammer is on the mound. The throwing hard-throwing right-hander for the beat diggers and a senior. And if he hits his spot, Hammer could be a tough customer, as Platte Valley will hope to find out today. Platte Valley dressed in their navy blue jerseys with the gray pants, the beat diggers, in all gray today with the maroon lettering. And the opening pitch is going to be brought to you by Inkmeyer Phillips Insurance, locally in Fort Morgan and Brush, offering home, health, auto, farm, business, and workers' compensation insurance, Inkmeyer Phillips Insurance. Yeah, we are literally trying to cover up the microphone. So all you hear is my voice and less wind, and it is fierce. The pitch, fastball is a strike on the outside corner, thigh high to Kyle Gardner, the right-handed hitting right fielder. No balls and one strike, and the offering. Swung on and popped, foul, and off to the right, and out of play, Eric Garcia, the catcher, gives chase. And it's 0-2. Yeah, this should be the worst day of the week weather-wise. The sun is out, it's gorgeous. But when you combine 50-degree temperatures and massive wind, that (laughs) is a challenge. 0-2 pitch, swung on and popped, foul, off to the right, and out of play again. Yeah, you could tell the difference. Well, here's the difference covering up the microphone. And there we open it up. Not too bad there. No balls and two strikes. The wind, the pitch to Gardner, and that fastball rides inside. The beat diggers can get at least four innings, maybe five out of Brent Hammer. That'll save the rest of the pitching staff. It'll be a busy week. One, two. Swung on and lined into left center field. Melendez to his right has to play it on a hop. It's a base hit for Kyle Gardner to begin this game. That'll send up the right-handed hitting second baseman, Carlos Avila. Yeah, that time Hamburg got the ball right down the middle and up in the zone. And usually your leadoff hitter can run, but Gardner's got a short lead over there, maybe a step at first, very, very short lead. Stretched by Hammer. And the offering squaring the bunt runner going, the ball hit Avila. Came inside and it got him somewhere in the back. Runners at first and second for the right-handed hitting pitcher, Chase Maxey. The stretch with runners at first and second. And the offering. Fastball outside corner at the knees. That's what he wants. That's a strike. That's the first pitch that Hammer threw in the game to Gardner. If he can locate it there, he'll get Maxi out. But he's got to keep it there. Looking back, 0-1 offering. Swing and a miss on a changeup. It's 0-2. The last two pitches Hammer threw are the best two he's thrown so far. No balls, two strikes, two on, nobody out. Gardner began the game with a base hit. Carlos Avila hit by a pitch. And the offering swung on and lined into shallow center field. That one looks like it's going to drop. And Melendez dives. It's off his glove. It's picked up by the shortstop, Waylert. And he's going to have to throw it back in to Gregory Mares. It's a base hit as Melendez nearly made a circus catch. And the bases are loaded for Clint Gehring. And for him. 
Hammer. He threw a good pitch, a hittable 0-2 pitch, but on a windy day like this, and Melendez got a great jump in center field, but the wind knocked the ball down, and he still almost made an incredible catch, diving full out towards the infield. And Platte Valley threatening in the opening inning. So Gardner at third, Avila at second, Maxi at first. And here is Clint Gehring, hitting with a close stance from the right side. The stretch by Hammer. And the pitch, fastball is outside, one ball, no strikes. I don't know if there's any sign of this wind weakening a little bit. The outfield extremely shallow, the pitch, and that ball bounces into Garcia, 2-0. Two balls and no strikes. The bead diggers look like they have early activity in the bullpen, and here comes pitching coach Bobby Guzman. At 502 Ensign in downtown Fort Morgan, the place to shop for all of your appliance needs is B&B Appliance, a member of the Brand Source Retail Program. So when the conversation breaks up, it'll be two balls and no strikes to Clint Gehring. And in the first inning, or first half inning, is any indication this will be a long game time-wise. Kyle Gardner began the game with a base hit on a 1-2 pitch. Carlos Avila was hit by a pitch. And then on an 0-2 pitch, Chase Maxey lined it into center field. But the wind, now that we get a better idea after saying that it was a crosswind, looks like it's strictly blowing in. So any fly ball towards the outfielders is being knocked down towards the infield. 2-0 to Clint Gehring. And the pitch, fastball is down the middle. And that is a strike, Bell Tides 2-1. B Diggers a double play death in all the grass are Derek Lynch at third and CJ Kukas at first. And the 2 1. Swag and a miss through the fastball right by him is 2 and 2. Well, getting the two strikes hasn't been a problem so far for Hammer. He's done it to three of the first four hitters, but he's got to put them away. 2 and 2. And Clint Gehring awaits the pitch. Swung on and fouled back. One with another fastball. At least Hammer's keeping it in the strike zone now. He has not thrown poorly. Problem is, is that uh, Platte Valley has a couple of hits. The stretch. And Hammer looks in for the 2-2 pitch. Swung on ground to Hammer. He's going to go to the plate. That is one. Garcia to first. And that is a double play. One, two, three. And there's two down in the top of the first inning. Perfectly executed by the beat digger pitcher and catcher. To third is Avila and to second is Maxi. Here's the left-handed hitting Josh Martinez. That was a textbook ground ball right back to Hammer. He might be able to get out of this without allowing a run. The stretch by Hammer. Throw back to third and it gets by the third baseman Lynch towards the digger dugout. That means Avila will score and the third is going to be Maxi. Boy, that's a throw that does not be need to be made. It was a low throw and it's one nothing Platte Valley. And Martinez is yet to see a pitch. Yeah, I mean, you got to be sure that you're going to nail that guy in third. And Avila had a lead there, but he would have been back in. Especially after you just retired the previous hitter, the cleanup hitter. On a 1-2-3 double play, the stretch. And the pitch to Martinez. And the curveball is up and away. One ball, no strikes. Martinez, the shortstop today for Platte Valley. Hammer stretches. And the 1-0 offering. Swang and a mess of a fastball just above belt high. It's 1-1. One 